okay uh, welcome to the satellite communication course so in which we start here with a, a model first we start with a model one that is about a communication satellite and uh, in which we learn that what are the various orbits uh, and what are the various uh, components project okay so now that uh, we have seen yesterday these are the uh, syllabus for this model one communication satellite we learn here the orbital description okay and uh, what are the or what are the various orbits and uh, what are the various frequencies required for the satellite communication that we will learn this one is about a syllabus for this model one orbit and description brief history of satellite communication various frequency bands satellite systems their applications orbital period and velocity effects of orbital inclination azimuth and elevation and coverage angle and slant range eclipse orbital perturbation and placement of a satellite in a geostationary orbit that we will learn so now uh, we as we have discussed earlier these are the textbooks so you refer the textbook uh, for this uh, that is about a dennis roddy that is sufficient for this these are the course objective and a course outcome for this uh, satellite communication so we consider here uh, what what we are getting at the end of this particular course that are nothing but the out outcomes and what we, you people are learning uh, from this particular course these are the objectives of the satellite commission so we start here with a first understanding that introduction to a satellite communication then a orbital mechanics and launches their link design okay these are about the all the topics in the satellite communication that we are learning okay throughout this we start with what are the benefits of a satellite now uh, these are these are the various benefits that rightly mention accessibility versatility flexibility reliability and the capacity so along with that why we are learning a satellite communication that we should know first and then uh, you people are able to understand that what are the various benefits of this particular satellite communication so generally if you consider that a line to line communications we can send the signal for the longer distance longer distance communication possible using the wires and all but again there are some problem in a communication or difficulties in a communication through the wire sometimes wire breaks even if it is a fiber or a transmission line so there may be a problem for the communication there so so instead of uh, preferring the wire so people have switched to the wireless communication and in a wireless communication so there are the drawbacks for this wireless communication too that is about the range and that range is totally depending upon that antenna height size of antenna your directivity and gain of an antenna and uh, the parameter of again a surface wave propagations and all now when we consider that a using that mobile communication or a mobile tower or we can have a tower to tower communication so in that case when we prefer a tower to tower communication since our earth surface is a curve now So that's why we could not communicate beyond a 50 kilometer of a distance because of that earth curvature. Because surface is not flat, so if surface is not flat, so we could not communicate uh, through that through the uh, one tower to the another tower because of that earth curvature. So means we say that radio transmitter from one particular source to the destinations, they have the limitations for the distance. that limitations of a distance regarding what a 50 kilometers of area so then uh, there are limitations regarding the communication using the wireless one so now again the frequencies so various frequencies bands are there so now this two uh, the various frequency bands if you see that the radio spectrum so now in that so modulations or we can consider that a bandwidth and uh, all other parameters so it will be very difficult 
so now we can choose the higher frequency for the communication and then when we choose the higher frequency then we'll get the sufficient bandwidth okay the limitations of that particular bandwidth okay can be reduced by using the higher frequency but again when we make a line of sight communication means one tower to the another tower so then there are the limitations of uh, what you can say it is not there so line of sight communication possible when we have a sufficient distance so that's why we need to consider that another way of a medium for transmitting the signal instead of wire that is about a, a satellite communication so through the satellite communication we can send the signal to the long distance means we can say that a satellite is used as just like a repeater uh, in between the wire we we say that in if you consider the coaxial cable there will be a repeater but here if you consider that instead of that we choose that a satellite communication as one particular medium so we consider that satellite we can transmit so now if you see here in a figure okay now you just see one more camera there available okay one more window maybe you will see now supposed to be these are nothing but a tower we send the signal from one tower to the another tower now direct communication or you can say that is about a, a line of sight communication okay so we can say that is about a line of sight communication there so now in that case your signal transmitting from the one antenna to the antenna another antenna that will be a directly communication text but there are limitations regarding what that is the distance okay that distance limitation means we could not transmit the signal for the long duration because of that earth curvature so now so we can consider that another way or another medium that is about we use a various antenna to send the signal to the one and device then again another one okay we send it. likewise so we can use a multiple component we send retransmit and resend it here so instead of that it's supposed to be we have a satellite here okay so we can transmit the signal okay if we have a satellite so we can transmit the signal through the satellite means what from one one transmitter and we have a another receiver here we can transmit so both the way we can have a transmission and receiver takes place okay in this case we will use sending the signal from one device to the another device so means there are no limitations regarding the distance okay so that's why if you see here uh, that benefits of a satellite we say that a accessibility that is nothing but a large coverage large coverage means what instead of a 50 km of a area so we can send the signal to the large area of a earth and but the drawback for this particular satellite communication that is about a we can say that it because we take a time to transmit the signal okay it will take a time to transmit the signal but if you consider that a time required for transmitting one tower to the another tower it will take a less time so that drawback can be re reduced okay that is another way we learn in a link designs and all that whatever the drawbacks of a transmission okay so we can learn later so now we say that we transmit the signal from the satellite okay so we have the earth surface here we consider that this is about a circular earth now so now we have a satellite here so now this satellite cover the large area this is nothing but the area covered by the satellite so means we can send the signal throughout this particular area now if supposed to be this satellite is a geostationary satellite okay the geostationary satellite so in that case what happen so we require only a three satellite to cover the whole entire earth okay we require a three satellite to cover the entire earth so means the pressure between these two particular this satellite will be of a 120 degree so we can send okay three satellites are required to cover whole earth to transmit the signal means single satellite 
we cover this particular region means that's why we say that a satellite communication that will be benefited for the large coverage area then another advantage we say that is about a system cost independent of a distance so means once your system set up here okay so now there is no issue of that particular distance at all okay so that's why you can say that the about system cost independent of a distance there another way is about we say remote area communication nowadays you might have seen that if uh, for a mobile communication so there are somewhere a network coverage is not possible because of that hill area or remote places and all so in that case satellite communication one way for the or one solution for the communication in a remote area so we use a satellite communication in a remote area because there is direct communication of a satellite device to the users in a remote area nowadays if you learn that so today whatever we have learned okay so now we have considered that is mobile communication is easily okay it's easiest but if you consider the satellite communication and that will be very easy or we can communicate at from any place there if supposed to be if you go on a beach somewhere there is no internet connection if you go in a some uh, what we can say uh, terrain or somewhere okay mountain somewhere place there is no internet connection but we, if we have a satellite device so we can communicate from in each or any places there so that's why a remote area communication can be possible using the satellite there next about versatility now we can say that versatility means what we have a various signal or various channels uh, or a various applications can applications to be used so that's why we can say that variety of signal can be carried variety of signals that can be of a we can say it can be used for the communication or we can say that it can be a multimedia signal it can be a mobile communication okay or we say that there are various ways or various signals it can be a news okay or it can be a broadcasting component okay so then we can say that we can we have okay if you see that variety of a signal the variety of signals can be what any broadcasting signal okay we can broadcast whatever the device broadcast we have then we have a a multimedia there okay so then we have a, a mobile communication there okay cellular signal then we can say that there may be a signal from the internet or internet connectivity through the satellite communication or we can send okay the data related to the news or whichever the other applications for this now these are the various applications in which we can use a satellite so we can we say that it is about the versatile device so we can say that a, a satellite communication okay so we can use the satellite communication for the various applications here and again if you consider the mobile device so we can internet directly connected suppose if you go to the another state automatically network switched the same thing here in a satellite communication okay so within a short period of a time so network is available and we can have a network every year everywhere and that will be available now then uh, if you consider that a we can say that support a line of sight communication so if we have that uh, area uh, that is about a lot of trees okay okay we can say that is about a mountain terrain okay okay so that that portion is a slum or a rural area in that case so we can communicate easily through the satellite communication so instead of using a more number of towers in that particular region so directly satellite communication can be used there so old days people have used a cable that is about telephone line if you see that cable or we have a nowadays it is about the fiber optic cable 
Now, instead of that fiber optic cable or a normal telephone wire cable, okay, so instead of that, nowadays for the wireless communication, towers are used. But towers have a limitations regarding the area coverage. Okay, so region is small, 2 kilometers of a radius, 3 kilometers of a radius, according to the height of the whatever the tower there. So that's why limitations for the tower. To cover the large area, so we need to install a more number of towers. So here, instead of using a more number of towers, so we can use a satellite communication. So even in a mobile communication, switching is takes place. Similarly, in a satellite, okay, average coverage is available throughout the year places. So towers means more number of towers required. If it is a fiber optic cable or a wires and all, so in that case we require a repeater. But in a satellite, we doesn't require so that's why system is independent. Yeah. So that's why we say that network can be established in a short time. Then bandwidth. Okay, flexibility. We can say that is about the band relocation. So bandwidth means what? So we have a, a satellite there and we say that is about the various numbers of channels we have we can use for the transmission there. Then uh, for the various applications, we use a different different okay frequency band or frequency carriers there. And then we are using this particular various channels to be transmitted the signals there. So in that case, your satellite work for XYZ applications. So in that case, required bandwidth for that particular application is different. Supposed to be we are using only out of this only two applications there. So in that case, so we can specify this particular area or a particular application there. So now a transponder is there and transponder is designed in such a way that it will use for the different applications. So if we say that we we say that for a, you we can use a transponder for the multimedia applications. And immediately we wanted to change to the another region, okay, this way, likewise cellular one. So then required bandwidth for this and required bandwidth for multimedia applications is different. So easily, okay, we can we can say that reallocation of a bandwidth is possible for the application. So that's why there is a flexibility in the given communication there. Because we say that a network, we say that a satellite communication in which a size, network size is depending upon that, what will be the, what are the signals or what are the channels or we can say that is what will be the traffic, that size. So if you consider that required a capacity for the different, okay, different ways or different use, so there will be different capacity. So that's why the bandwidth will be different. So that's why we say that a bandwidth reallocation takes, okay, we can use a different bandwidth, okay, or a different frequency there. Okay, so that's why we can say that about the bandwidth reallocation. But if you consider that a cable, normal cable or a fiber optic cable, it ha they have a limitation. Fiber optic cable means only that will be work for a specific bandwidth this two wire cable transmission line that will be work for the specific bandwidth or a specific frequency. But here, okay, so it, is a, it has a different applications, so we can consider the different way there. Next is about a reliability. So in case of a reliability, if you see that network is reliable, reliability means what? Our communication to be text place. Okay, reliability means what? Communication is to be text place. So that's why we say that about the reliability. So generally in that case, we have a system and that system is nothing but what? We have a earth station here. This is nothing but a earth station. And we have the earth station and we have a satellite. This one. We say that a system is what? A earth station and a satellite. Now that our station, right now we are saying it is nothing but a tower or something else, okay. So means we say that a communication takes place. 
from the earth station to the satellite okay communication takes place from the earth station to the satellite so two way communication so now system consists of what the earth station okay satellite and its earth station now this whole system is designed okay whole system is designed for the specific whatever the application for the specific earth station okay so now that's why we say that because it is designed for this various applications so then we say that a system is reliable now the satellite is available okay while we are communicating in that case when satellite will not work so that failure rate of a satellite is different it is depending upon that there are some disturbances in a space so in that particular period of a time satellite doesn't work or there may be failure in a battery or there may be failure in a transponder so means only satellite fails then there won't be any communication but if you consider that once we launch a satellite so it will work for the 10 to 15 years or 20 years there or you can say that is about a device we have set up for the particular system that earth station and a satellite that will be work for the lifetime so that's why it will work for the more and more duration so it will work for the lifetime and all the components present in the satellite they work for the lifetime so that's why you can say that the system communica communication or satellite communication we say it is about a reliable one and they have specified that in a satellite number of channels because a transponder is there so what are the various links that links to be used for the communication so it it is specified okay so now that specified links and all so according to that a communication takes place so if you consider that the wire cable communications and all so in that case every time that wire breaks fiber cable breaks and all so in that case there won't be any reliable communication or we can take out information from that okay another way so that's about a cable communication but in a satellite they have a fixed line or a fixed application there so that's why a system will be irreliable and last benefits of a satellite that is about a, a capacity now as we say earlier so your channel means we can say that the bot it has a transponder okay and transponder is how it has a large number of channels okay it consists of a large number of channels means satellite channels every channels have a different bandwidth so large channels we have so large bandwidth because we have a many transponder present in a satellite and due to the many transponder large channel so signal carried by this particular system it has a large bandwidth and this large bandwidth is depending upon that what will what are the various earth stations available and for what applications or what use we are using this particular transponder so we say that applications wise number of channels okay number of transponders we have so that's why we say that the about a large bandwidth and earlier we say that a reallocation of a bandwidth to the user is possible and that can be easily managed by the a station or we can say that is about the user state so that's why we say that a bandwidth allocation in the earth station is different as for the user and if you consider that a terrestrial communication bandwidth allocation is fixed but here it is a variable here so these are about the benefits of a satellite communication and we go, we'll go ahead with the okay next slide there now before that we start here we need to understand that what are the 
benefits of the satellites so we should know that how this satellite okay how this satellite works so historical development okay so now if you see here sorry we'll go back here now these are about developments historical evolution of a satellite communication how satellites evaluated there who has started okay first satellite it, people have said that it is by the nasa okay no the first satellites launch by the soviet union in 1957 but it is only for the purpose of what sending some data okay and receiving the data then another satellite was launched by the us department in 1958 okay but they have sent some signal some message and that is useful for the signal communication so now soviet union has launched a satellite in 1957 okay just they have tried whether that communication will be takes place or not but actually applications some signal sent from the satellite okay that will be carried okay that was the first communication satellite was developed by the us in 1958 but before that that clark has suggested that a satellite in a circular okay if you see that a satellite in a circular equatorial orbit with a radius of 36000 km would have an angular velocity and that will be equal to the earth and then it will remain stationary okay with that particular velocity and that particular distance then a satellite launch by the people various satellites launch by the various countries and they have the various application now here this i have mentioned here that is about a score that is a signal communication satellite and uh, that was launched by the us army in 1958 and uh, that is a first communication satellite and it is nothing but a low orbit satellite with it is about 10000 below 10000 of a kilometer means it is of 1 to 80 km and that relayed 4 minute recorded voice okay so that recorded voice they have sent from that particular region and it has a 15 megahertz of a uplink frequency and 10 108 megahertz of a downlink frequency and it has a life of a 12 days because that device was a battery operated so that's why life was very very late and then then people have transmitted then people have developed design in various antennas that is eco 1 eco 2 and uh, they have the life is of 8 year to see that application is different so they have the passive reflector of a 30 meter diameter and they have the large ground system then another satellite tester 1 and 2 that is by nasa and bell labs it has a different frequency now this one is a eco this is the first satellite eco 1 okay now if you see that a score that is used only for the 12 days of a life but this one is a eco satellite is developed for the uh, that 8 years okay design so then the different various countries they have launched their satellite and that various countries their names are different and our india is uh, isro we have isro there okay so we have a isro available there in various states if you see that and uh, day before yesterday i think on the 28th of february science day they have launched a 19 satellite one satellite from the brazil so total 19 satellite they have launched so now isro has emerged and they have started is sat sending their satellite from the 1975 okay detail list i will show you so they were there are the various satellite launched by the various companies okay various institutions 
So now we'll uh, go, okay, we have the list that uh, what are the satellites launched by the India uh, government and all that I'll show. Now these are about the satellites launch, list of the satellites launch here. Okay, that is about list of Earth observation satellites. Now you can see that there are the various satellites launched there. Okay, you can see here, these are the various satellites. These are about the Indian satellite. And even if you see that, so here in Sat 1A, it is about April 10, 1982. The name they have given that is about a delta and it is useful for the communication, but it is failed in orbit. So now if you see that all the satellites, now then Insat 1B, okay. So Insat, why Insat means Indian satellite. Okay, so we can say that is about Insat word they are used. And then uh, that is useful for the communication. It's not failed. So whichever the satellite failed, it is mentioned in the right right column here. So they have the different India Indian government okay, launch a lot of satellite and uh, because various engines earlier the engine was different. Okay, so that is about that's why they send a satellite single only. But nowadays they are using a GSLV, PSLV vehicle. Okay, these are the launching vehicle. So we'll learn a launching vehicle later. So that launching vehicle, they have the capacity to launch various satellite in the various orbits. Okay, so that's why we can say that is about the various launching vehicle. So this data we have captured up to 2017. Even if you go on a ISRO website, so you'll see that they have the list of the satellites launched by the ISRO and in various satellites they have mentioned and for what purpose and what use they have mentioned. Okay. And it's not only that ISRO send the satellites or Indian satellites only. It is just like one medium for sending the satellite in the orbit. So ISRO launches a various countries satellite there. Okay. So that is about paying everything and that another is issue. Okay. That is the government issue. We we not bother about it. So ISRO launching a satellite. The, even if you see that out of that 19 satellite, a few satellites from the USA and few satellites from the French also. Okay, so that launched by the ISRO department. Okay, and that use that fuels and everything is different. And if you see that our uh, Indian region, if you see the map, so we have a terrestrial area and we have a sea there. So that's why it is very easier to launch a satellite in a space. Because we are getting that speed of that earth and all. So we'll see in detail later. Now this is about the various satellites launched by the government of we can say that's about India here, satellite commission. Okay, Insat 1B was launched. Insat 1A it was failed. Insat 1B. It is in use 1983. So these are about the various satellites 1A, 1B, 1C. Okay, that name they have given. Okay, A B C D. They have not given the name. Of any of any person at all okay just they have given the name and these are about the satellite launchers or vehicles they are used okay if you see that this satellite series of satellite are launched with a indigenous launchers developed by the ISRO everything whatever the launches vehicles and everything that was used by the or that was developed by the ISRO itself and uh, the applications of a satellite throughout, if you say that it is nothing but a communication one, TV broadcast, radio, TV program distribution, mobile communication, distance education, remote sensing. Now, old days, you might have seen that distance education possible in a rural area through the satellite communication. Okay, small dish was there in most of the places. And through that a internet, through that communication, everything was possible. But nowadays, internet is very easy. It is available easily, easiest. So then uh, that communication satellites and all that was used for the distance education. Okay. Uh, nowadays it stops now. Okay. And we have a, in India, there are various ways for the education. Now IGNU is there, NPTEL again one more is there. Okay. So a lot of uh, universities are there, they are providing the education. So satellite basically useful for the education as well as the communication there 
and we say on one more that is way is about the remote sensing so remote sensing means what we can understand that what is the environmental condition whether monitoring or land development or a development of that particular city and all so nowadays government is saying it is about a smart city so now to develop the smart city we need to get the map of that particular city and in that case we can design a specific region for the specific purpose there so that is nothing but a use of that satellite for the maps and all that is nothing or remote sensing means for the weather and all now we come to the topic what are the various elements of a satellite communication there are basically a three elements one is about a satellite link satellite link means what we can say it is about uplink or a downlink okay that is nothing but satellite link we say it is in a space okay in a atmosphere we say a space segment okay we have a space segment so that is about we say a device we have okay so what are the various satellites and all available ground segment that is nothing but a various earth stations or various devices so means these are about the three space segments we have a satellite there ground segment we have a earth station a satellite link that is nothing but a communication medium from the earth station to the satellite or a region we are sending the signal to so uplink satellite link so while transmitting the signal to the satellite we say uplink frequency and from the satellite to the earth station that we we say it is about a downlink okay so it is a fixed uplink and downlink so we can use always that uplink word and downlink word why uplink and downlink because uplink frequency we are sending the signal and it has a different frequency of operation okay very deep bandwidth okay so different frequency for the downlink it is a different uplink frequency is higher and downlink frequency is lower and then a in a space segment there is a satellite and that satellite work for the whatever the applications we have means applications based on the earth stations we have and according to that it will work now consider that a specific applications so then we say the satellite require various resources for this then it has a various spectrum then it will work for the given particular <coughs> time okay and it needs a power okay so we'll see that what are the satellite transponders or what are the satellite okay component transponder component or satellite components that we love so basic communication satellite if you see it requires only a three components that is about earth station that is the about ground segment there is space segment that is nothing but a satellite and a satellite link means that is a medium or a, you can say that is about a from satellite to the earth station that is nothing but a medium so that is about a satellite link and uplink and downlink frequency is different for the different satellite as well as different for the different earth station so it is depending upon that for what applications we are using that communication so that's why the uplink and downlink frequency is different okay so we'll see that various satellites and various uplink and downlink frequency okay i'll show you a chart in which how much is the frequency the uplink and downlinks are used now then elements of a satellite communication what are the various elements in a transponder or what are the various elements in the earth station so what are the elements earth stations means we are providing the data information that information can be we can say it is about audio video speech or data that will be the nothing but the input means various channels for the various application and this various channels or various input will give to the baseband equipment then according to that a, a signal okay here what happen in a baseband devices your signal will be modulated and it will be it will generated a particular link means it will be converted to the uplink frequency means modulation takes place so that's why we say here whatever the input we have that input through this baseband equipment it will be converted and then we have a rf equipment rf equipment means what it is that bit up conversion and down conversions we have takes place here okay and 
we have the amplifier there for transmitting the signal. So means we can convert the signal. So that's why we require a local oscillator for the up conversion. Again, we require a local oscillator for the down conversion. That is about the RF equipment. High power amplifier, we say, okay, low noise amplifier there for receiving up conversion, down conversion, local oscillator, and duplexer. And this one, we say that is about the baseband band equipment. That is about, we say, A, we say, IF we require, modem, multiplexer, demultiplexer, multiplexer for transmission, demultiplexer for the reception. And we have the various, that is, we say, A, access control. Access control means what? For what purpose? What device? What channel to be used? So these are nothing but a earth station component, a antenna feed, okay. And antenna is used for transmitting the signal. So there is mostly, it is about a dish device. Dish is there. So it will transmit the signal because it has a large bandwidth and a large gain. So mostly we say it is about a gain. And again, that beam width will be small. So that's why it will be useful for the sending the signal to the satellite. So similarly, uplink and downlink area coverage. So we can consider for the reception same. So means basic element is what we have a station, a satellite transponder. And then we have again, we say that the body transmitting the signal from the one earth station to the another earth station. So that, that's why we say input, it can be of various inputs. Okay, so it can be of the various inputs. And then there are the satellite network configuration. And configurations are what a point to point configuration. Means we say that we have a earth station, and that earth station can be used for the particular applications and it will transmit the signal. Okay, so we, can, we say that from one earth station, ground earth station to the another ground, ground earth station. So it will transmit the signal. And another is what we say point to multi-point configuration. Means we have only a single satellite or single earth station that will transmit the signal to the satellite and then satellite transmit the signal to the multiple stations. Nowadays you might have need see that you have a dish TV at home means you people are using dish TV as a receiver terminal and whatever the medium news and everything or whatever the uh, plays okay whatever the movies and everything that will be transmitting from the ground station to the satellite and the same satellite will send the signal to the receiver means we have a dish at home so that is nothing but a various terminal that is it. so here we say a one device we have a one ground earth station and we are sending the signal to the from one ground station to the various terminals. That is, we say point to multi point communication. Then a multi point to point configuration means multiple transmitters we have, they are just sending the data towards the satellite and then satellite send the signal again towards the earth station. That is called as a multi point to a point configuration. So if you compare here a point to multi point, we see the uplink, we say here from the one earth station to the satellite and then from the satellite to the various earth station. Okay. And now if you consider here multi point, in that case, a multiple transmitter we have. A multiple transmitter means it is uplink, it will be transmitted here and then to the satellite and then satellite will transmit the signal to the earth station. That is called as a multi point to the point configuration. Then uh, we come to the what are the various types of a satellite. Okay, so what are the various types of a satellite that we need to be considered? And we will see that here. Basically, we say that is about a generally we say passive satellite, active satellite, and a regenerative satellite. Now, a passive satellite. Passive satellite means what? So it just simply reflects the signal received from the earth station. Okay, received signal, whatever the signal means, it's just like a reflector. Or we say, if you, we have a mirror, and if you focus a light on that particular mirror, it will reach to the mirror end, and it will be reflected back to the another place. That is just like a passive satellite. It does not change anything.